you guys see that sign right there? How could you not? It's literally right there. <laughs> but that Taco Bell sign can only mean one thing. It's taco time! Today on the Fast Foodies, I am gonna be reviewing the all new classic double beef cheesy burrito. So I guess it's not taco time, uh, burrito time, but a funny story. As I was ordering this new classic double beef cheesy burrito, I was inside and I was talking to the guy taking my order and he said, yo, 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 you're that fast foodie guy, right? You review all the, the newest and the latest fast food items. I said, yeah, yeah, that's me. He said, oh man, you better come back soon. Because here at Taco Bell, we're gonna be coming out with some new cheese it inspired fast food items. Can you believe that? Taco Bell is gonna be taking cheese it and combining it with their classic Taco Bell menu to come up with some, I can't even imagine what they're gonna be coming out with. I can't even fathom what Taco Bell will create. What I can fathom though, what I can imagine, is that I will be reviewing it the moment that it drops. Heck, I actually might be getting some exclusive access to it since I am the king of the Fast Foodies. So if you subscribe to the Fast Foodies YouTube channel, which I highly suggest you do, then you may see a review of all of the new Cheez-It inspired Taco Bell items before they get released to the public. But enough talking about Taco Bell items that I'm gonna be reviewing in the future. Let's talk about the Taco Bell item that I'm reviewing today. As I mentioned, this is the classic double beef cheesy burrito. And there's actually a spicy version of this as well. But since I ran out of my uh, my spicy food backup, Pepto-Bismol, I decided to go with the classic version. However, if you want me to come back after I restock up on my backup, then just let me know in the comments down below. I think I can make that happen. But honestly, I think the only difference between, actually no, I know that the only difference between this version and the spicy version is that the spicy one has jalapenos. At least that's what the guy at the counter told me. Enough talking, this is starting to get a bit cold. So, uh, cheers. Hmm. Inside look, I've not tried. Oh, it's getting windy here. I got stuff flying all over the place. As I was saying, I gotta be honest with you guys. I haven't tried the uh, the single version of this double beef burrito. So I don't know if there's actually double the beef, but there is a lot of beef in this burrito. I'm getting loads of beef in here, as well as some rice. And I believe that there's supposed to be some sour cream in here. I'm not getting much or really any sour cream flavor. Little disappointed about that. I'm also a little disappointed about the, uh, the crunchiness factor of those tortilla chips. I was very excited to get a little crunch, but sadly they're kind of soft and soggy. Maybe it's because I was uh, taking so long in the intro <laughs> that they soaked up all that sauciness inside. But whatever the case may be, they are not on the level of crunchiness that I want. At the end of the day though, it's still a pretty solid burrito. For ratings, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this Taco Bell fast food review. Let me know in the comments down below if you did. And as I mentioned, definitely make sure to stay tuned for those uh, cheese it reviews. Oh boy. If you made it to the end of this video, then I am sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at Fast Foodies Review.